everybody. Today is April the 20th, 2021. My name is Shelly and this is my channel Proverbs 3122 where I share about my um, stitchy life. So if you're new here, thank you for coming. I hope you see something that you like and um, you know if you want to know what I'm up to on a regular basis just hit the subscribe button and I usually post once a week. I do um, just started doing vlog style which I'm really enjoying. So um, yeah anyway if you're returning hey friends I'm glad to see you again. See you again. Uh, I wish we could like you know get together and see each other in real life. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about StitchCon. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm not going this year. I don't know if that would be my event of choice to meet people. But I would like to go one day. It would be cool. So anyway, um, this is a new week. It took me a minute to realize exactly where I needed to start on this video. At first, I was thinking um, that I'd already done the intro, but I hadn't. So this is my first one of the new week because I did have errands and things to run yesterday. Speaking of which, um, I'll have a um, you'll have seen a picture at the beginning showing what I did yesterday for lunch. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I had to go into town for fasting blood work, and then I had a two o'clock massage appointment. So I didn't want to spend all day long in town, so I waited a little later to go into town. Um, went into town around 10 o'clock to do fasting blood work. And so once I got that done, you know, it was 11 o'clock, I was starving to death. So, um, I ordered some to go from Olive Garden, which is amazing. I mean, you know, you get a lunch size portion of an entree, salad, or soup, and breadsticks. And, you know, it was like 10 bucks with the tip. So, um, you know, eight bucks before everything. So, definitely worth it. You don't pay, you know, you pay almost that much to go get a burger these days at a fast food place. So I enjoyed that a lot, but I took my lunch down to um, Veterans Park in Florence, Alabama. They, um, it, it has a veterans memorial there. It has like um, baseball fields. It has a campground that's closed currently. And it also has a disc golf course. But my favorite part of it is when you go down to the very end of the park, you're on the river, on the Tennessee River, on Wilson Lake, near the Wilson Dam. And when we first moved to Alabama, we lived right around the corner um, from the entrance of this park. And so, you know, on a daily basis, we would walk down there and bird watch and you know, go down to the water and sometimes, you know, get down in the water along the shore and, you know, look at stuff. But it is my favorite place in all of the shoals. So whenever I go, whenever I just drive down there, it always just kind of takes my breath away. So I included a picture of that at the beginning of this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and what else has been going on? Nothing really um, so far this week. I do have an interview tomorrow with the um, NAFCO in Decatur, Alabama. Um, so I have that appointment, you know, interview tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Still haven't heard back on the, the other job at the Marine Construction. So I'm assuming they're still interviewing and making their decision. So uh, what I stitched on yesterday was um, the first thing that I stitched on is something that I decided in the last week or so that I want to stitch on it daily. And this is the Elizabeth Weston sampler from Hands Across the Sea. You see why I want to stitch on it daily, right? 
because if I don't, it'll be, you know, 20 years before I'm done with it. So I just need to make some progress. So just small, you know, small pieces every day. So I'm stitching this on a uh, 36 count uh, Zweigart linen that was hand dyed by Devin over um, at Strawberry Lane on Etsy. And she's hoops and needles here on Facebook. I mean, here on uh, Instagram. So this is my progress on this piece so far. So um, I decided I'm not going to show this every day because it really is just small pieces. So it's been a few days since I've shown it. So I've gotten these two vines done. And then last night I did this little flower. So, it looks like there's a stitch missing, but it's not. I don't know. It just looks weird. I did have a, pl a place in the, um, in the linen that was real slubby, so I don't know if that's what's showing up. But these are the called for flosses, called for DMCs, and I am doing one strand of them over two threads on the 36 count. And then um, my daily rotation piece for yesterday is Merry Monday. So I stitched on um, this little Let It Snow ornament. I haven't stitched on it in a while. So if you're new here, I'm doing ornaments for my grandsons. And um, this is the one that I worked on yesterday. It's called Let It Snow. And it is from Just Cross Stitch December 2020. And I'm stitching it on a 14 count um, opalescent white Ada from Hobby Lobby. And so last night I worked some more on his little hat. And these are the flosses that I'm using. Some called for, some just substitutions that I made because I didn't have the call for. These little um, floss tags are also from Devon, and she's got some new, she lists new ones all the time. She's got some really pretty ones, again, um, but Strawberry Lane on Etsy, and I will link her below. I'm not sure where to put all this stuff. Let me grab a drink, a drink real quick. So um, my weekly focus piece this week is going to be um, my Bluebird of Happiness, which is from Cottage Garden Samplings, um, the Songbirds Garden Series. I love bluebirds. I love cherry blossoms. So this was definitely calling to me. Um, you know what? I may end up stitching this again. <laughs> I'm not real, uh, I'm not decided totally on how I'm stitching it and what I'm stitching it on. This is stitched, the model is stitched on Weak Star Work Sanguine, and I need to get some of it because it's beautiful and I'll see it on patterns, and every time I see it on a pattern, it catches my eye, and you know, I've gotten to the point where I can look at a at a model and say that's sanguine so what I'm stitching it on is a 28 count with shells that's in what I think is French lace and I did decide to do it one strand over two threads so I mean from a distance it looks okay when you get up close you can really see the fabric shining through on the roof but I guess it sort of makes it look like it's got more variegation than it does um so I, th I guess it'll be all right but I'm not really you know how you don't know like if you've never stitched on anything else you think it's fine so when I first came to back to stitching and decided to branch out into linen, I did Fat Quarter Shop's um, Linen Club, which is a 28 count wood shelt linen. And so I didn't know any better. And then now I've started stitching on different brands and different, you know, different counts. And so 
Um, I really don't like the wood shelf that much, and I have a bunch of it in my stash, and I will use it, but um, I just prefer stitching on something that's a little, um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It seems too irregular to me, and I guess because it's stiff, it, it you feel it and see it more um, than if it was soft. But anyway, I got some of... Um, some of this done last night and a little bit around the edge of the house done last night. Um, and these are the call for um, flosses, which are all week's dye works. So I stitched on that last night while I was watching um, this past week's When Calls the Heart. If y'all watch it, y'all didn't, nobody commented last week. I don't know if none of my viewers watch it or, or, you know, if nobody that watched the video watches the show. But anyway, um, it was very interesting to say the least. I think it's going in the direction that I thought it was going to go in kind of all along. But anyway, I also watched... Um, their Saturday Night Romance that played this past Saturday. It was cute. It was um, right in front of me, I think was the name of it. Um, so, yeah. I know those movies are like sappy and cheesy and it doesn't matter. I like to watch them. <laughs> and I know I'm not alone. <laughs> so, um, I also stitched on Fat Quarter Shop's... Um, fundraiser piece for Make-A-Wish, which is Serendipity, and it's stitched on a 14 count Ada with the call for um, DMC flosses. And this is what I got done. So at the end of my last video, I said that I was going to work on um, a half of one of these stars every couple of days or so. I've changed my mind. So I think what I'm going to do is sort of do a, like if I have any, if I have multiple sows going, which at this point in time I have three sows going, I think I'm going to do a rotation. Um, so I get so that um, I get a little bit more progress at one time on a piece instead of jumping around to different ones um, and just stitching a little bit on them every day, uh, which is fine. I mean, that's been fine, but I just want to shake up my stitching routine. So, and I think it'll help too on videos because I won't have as much to show on a daily basis. So I'm going to stitch on this um, I'm going to stitch on this this week until this is finished because all I've got is this star left, the middles, which is four single um, stitches, and then there's little four stitch motifs in between each star. So I definitely, you know, the next, probably today, I'll finish it tonight. And then I will move on to, um, to shine on and work on it for, you know, I might do like a three day rotation, like, you know, three days on one, three days on another. And then I also have Jesse Watson. So three days on that one. But anyway, that's my progress. And then um, I did finish the goal that I had from last week on, um, on my monthly mag uh, magazine monthly challenge piece, the Alsatian Red Work Heart, which is from uh, Just Cross Stitch February 2016. And I had said that I wanted to get the whole top portion done. So I had just this left corner to do. And um, so I went ahead and carried it on and stitched on it. Um, Monday and finished it. So this is on 28 count Irish linen from Michaels in the color tea dyed. 
and I'm stitching it with uh, DMC 115 variegated. So I haven't even kitted up my um, my May calendar, which is my supposed to be my magazine monthly challenge piece for this week. I haven't even kitted it up yet. I'll probably kit it up today, and then you know over the next. Um, three or four days I'll finish it. They don't take very long. So I did get a little bit of haul in yesterday. I got my um, next block in the Coriander Christmas quilt. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the check in these blocks. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way you have to be so careful to get it to line up. It just, to me, it just doesn't flow like the rest of the blocks do. So I'll probably, um, you know, pick one of these other ones that's in the rest of the quilt. I have gobs of fabric left, so I don't think there'll be any problem with me finding something to substitute it with. Um, so we'll see. I did do a little order from Fat Quarter Shop um, a few days ago, a week, a week or so ago. Um, they had these um, Lori Holt button pack, the yellow one on flash sale. So I did go ahead and pick it up. So cute little sunshine buttons. So I really want to start collecting some buttons and separating them by color so that um, I have them for finishing. And then while I was getting that, I went ahead and picked up um, two floss packs. This one is for um, Jan Hicks pattern, The Earth Laughs. Look at those colors. And uh, Cosmos are very, uh, Cosmo floss is very um, lustrous, luminous looking. It's very shiny and pretty. Like this, you know, seeing it on the, the camera just doesn't do it justice. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked up this one, which is for her uh, winter cottages pattern. So she's been doing um, seasonal patterns. She did um, Thankful for the Fall. And then this was her winter um, winter one was winter cottages. I don't have the patterns yet, but I did just want to pick up the floss packs while I was ordering something else. And then the spring one is the Earth Laughs. And then, you know, I'm sure she'll have one for summer. But she's designing those all um, specifically to use Cosmo floss. And Fat Quarter Shop is the ones that are carrying her um, floss packs. So I did get a little bit more done quilting wise. I finished a few more um, <sighs> blocks. Um, over here, I think these, yeah, this one and this one, and then, okay, so basically just, gosh, diagonally that way. It's so weird doing that. Um, and I thought that I had made a mistake on something, but it turned out that I hadn't. They were meant for the, the second block set. So um, I'll work some more on that today and work some more on the um, the string quilt, which is really blowing out. I don't know why, but let's see. I wonder if I can get it where it'll not blow it out so much. It won't, but anyway. That's one of them. So I'm making these just with a little uh, honey bun that I had bought years and years and years ago. I don't even remember who the designer is. But um, if you don't know, a honey bun is Moda's um, one and a half inch strips. So the baby sister of a jelly roll. And that's all I've got to share with you today. I will be back on here tomorrow, hopefully, um, to do another update. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Everybody.
It's Wednesday, April the 21st, and this should be a really quick update just to share what I stitched on yesterday. So for um, Timely Tuesday yesterday, um, I stitched on this American Spirit pattern from the Stitch Quarterly from Fat Quarter Shop. And let's see. It's stitched on 25 count Vintage Country Mocha Lugana. And I'm using the called for um, DMC flosses. Two strands over two threads. And so I'm just plugging along on those stripes. I think I was up in here. I don't remember, but so I got several more stripes done and then a couple more um, little stars. I like this piece a lot. I really, I really would want to get it finished as quickly as possible. So I did finish up on um, the row of star blocks for um, Serendipity. I love how this combines cross stitch and quilting. I just love that. So got that done. And then I also got my um, my May calendar kitted up and started. And this is what the this is what the um the model looks like. I did change um, some of the colors. Actually, well, some of the greens I changed out for you know colors that I had already gone from previous months, but I did change the color of these flowers and the door. The orange just didn't scream May to me, so ended up choosing this color in place of the orange, which is DMC 150. And I'm stitching these on 14 count Ada in French lace. This uh, Ada's from Wichelt. And so I got the house done yesterday. I did stitch a little bit on Elizabeth Weston. I'll wait until tomorrow to show progress on her. That's all I've got. I got that interview this afternoon, so um, <clears throat> don't know how much stitching I'll do. Um, I did get a few more um, units done of the straight and arrow. I didn't get any of the blocks put together. I did get um, one more string quilt block done while I was piecing the units for the straight and narrow. So I need to quilt today on my daughter's um, quilt. I didn't quilt on it all yesterday, and I just I need to quilt on it every day. So anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hey everybody, I'm back. Let's see, today's Thursday, April the 22nd, and I think Facebook memories is going to be the death of me. <laughs> I just, you know, went and looked at my memories today, and it's like it's all these videos and pictures of my older grandson when he was, you know, two. Oh... My heart can't take it. He's grown up too fast. I don't know. I don't know how the time has flown as it has, but oh my goodness. When I see that little boy, it's like, what happened to the little boy? He's a man now. <laughs> He's not even 13, but... <sighs> anyway. So, I went on the job interview yesterday, and... The name of the company is NAFCO, not NAFCO. It's got an E in there, so I assume that the A was long, but it's not. It's North American Fire Equipment Company. Um, pretty neat company and pretty 
cool history of, you know, how it started and everything. Um, they make, they supply equipment and clothing to um, first responder type people, policemen, fire departments. Um, you know, they do fire extinguishers to, you know, company. They sell some to the public. Um, so, you know, it's just a variety of things. The job is not what I thought it was going to be at all. Um, they do not, um, they don't construct any garments there. All they're doing is taking ready-made garments, you know, uniforms and such, and either, you know, like hemming pants, um, putting striping on legs and sleeves, um, adding patches, doing some embroidery, some heat press type things. Um, if I started right now, I will probably probably would be making masks all day long for right now because they have a huge order they're trying to get out, and they've lost staff recently. Um, I mean, I could see myself working there. I think that the monotony of what they do would get a little boring <laughs> um, just because it's not garment construction. It's not, you know, really different things. It's the same things over and over again, which, you know, I don't mind that sometimes, but I, I don't know. All the time, every day, eight, you know, eight to five, Monday through Friday. I don't know. Um, the drive is it's too long. <laughs> it's like 45 minutes um, one way. They did say that they would be willing to, you know, like if I wanted to do a, a half an hour lunch and leave at 4.30, I could do that. That would help somewhat. You know, but like all of my appointments, everything is in the opposite direction toward Florence. So... You know, if I have a doctor's appointment, like I have a doctor's appointment next Thursday, I have to take the whole day off because it's like I would, you know, get there and then work for two hours and then have to drive all the way to Florence. So, I don't know. I mean, if I had, I still haven't heard back on the one from the Marine Construction Company. So, I'm assuming they're still hard, still interviewing, making their decision, whatever. You know, if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the one at the Marine Construction, not only because the commute is so great, but because I think I would enjoy the work more. Um, so, I don't know. My husband did say last night when we were talking about it, you know, um, I wish you didn't have to work. And so, he's never really said that. I mean, I was home full time with my girls when they were growing up, but you know, since I've started working in 2008, um, I have had a point in time where I was off for like nine months and there, there just seemed to be, you know, I don't know. It could be the way I felt that he felt because <laughs> he denied feeling that way, but I just felt like there was, you know, like he wanted me to, to work. So outside of the home, um, I do, you know, Personally, I'm domestic to the core. Like, you know, people talk about they get bored. They would be so bored being at home. I'm not bored being at home at all. Um, the thought of having to, you know, work 40 hours plus drive an hour and a half every day, you know, my, my house is going to go to crap again. And uh, that bugs me. So... I don't know. Send me thoughts and prayers, I guess. Um, I really would like to hear, you know, yes or no from the Marine Construction Company before I make a decision. So, I mean, we didn't really, I mean, he just left it open, you know, like, like he just wanted to meet me and me to go there and see it and sort of mull it over and, you know, try to decide. I mean, I felt like the job would be mine if I wanted it. Um, but there wasn't, you know, official offer. So anyway, so, um, what did I stitch on yesterday? 
Uh, I didn't do any any piecing of the quilts behind me. Um, I did work some doing some hand quilting on my daughter's quilt, and then I cross-stitched. So I did make a little bit more progress on Elizabeth Weston. And so uh, since I've shown it to you last, I did stitch some of the basket. And then I stitched this flower last night. And so it's slow. <laughs> It's slow progress, but it's progress. Oh, I hope that wasn't very loud. And then on my little May calendar, I stitched the flower and leaves on this side. And today I'll stitch the flower and leaves on the other side. I'm happy with the um, with the colors that I chose. The middle of the flower is supposed to be the lighter yellow, but I already had that darker yellow on my needle, <laughs> and I wasn't gonna, you know, change to the lighter for that center. I think I like it with the darker better anyway. And then I did add some stitches on to um, shine on, working on this motif right here. Got a good bit done. Um, like, you know, this would be the halfway point, this row right here. So, almost halfway. And I stitched a little bit on Spring Messenger for yesterday's, um, Yesterday's topic, Wordy Wednesday. I stitched a little bit on this and to a really cute um, part. I love the little swirl <laughs> that's right here. I just love that. So, And then I stitched a little bit on my Bluebird of Happiness house. This house is so cute. It's going to be so cute. I mean, a pink house. Come on. Um, so, yeah, I got started on this right here and did this. And that's basically what I did yesterday. Just, you know, um, I usually start stitching around 6 o'clock, 6.30 after we get done with supper. And then stitch till around 10.30, maybe 11, but 10.30 would be better <laughs> if I could go to sleep that early, go to bed that early. Um, I think that's all I got today. You know, it's a shame. Sometimes I just can't remember from one day to the next what happened and what I did. I've been watching some floss tubes. Um... Jan Hicks just um, released a new pattern called Florographica, which is just stunning. It's gorgeous. There's so many things I want to stitch, and, you know, the list keeps getting longer and longer. I know I'm not the only one, but to find the time to do it, <laughs> to do it all. Okay, guys, I will... Um, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. I may get some haul in today, and I might do a little add-on, but I may just wait until tomorrow. I'm waiting for one, two, three stitch order, and um, my Fat Quarter Shop sew sampler box, which I got the notification email yesterday, and I was like, what did I order? I thought I got everything I ordered, you know? <laughs> and I opened it up and was like, oh, yeah, I forgot I'm getting that again, so... Jeez. All right, guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, April the 23rd, and I'm here with a stitching update. A um, little bit of life update. I do have my grandsons. They spent the night last night, and so if you hear any noises, they're playing wee basketball, and Malachi gets pretty fired up about it. Um, 
But anyway, they spent the night last night because um, my older daughter, Kimberly, who's graduating from college on the 8th of next month, um, was nominated by some of her teachers and um, received an, let's see, I'm trying to think of the exact words of the award. Let's see. Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. So it's based on academic achievement, character, professionalism, and potential. So she won it for her um, her department, her her major, which is uh, interior architect architecture and design. So we are very proud of her. We wish that we could have gone, but. She could only bring one person with her. So, so anyway, they spent the night um, last night. And then my son-in-law had a procedure on his neck today, and he's hurting pretty bad. So um, they're going to stay with me today until Kim gets out of school today. Malachi is going to spend the night again because Ma uh, Nathan has basketball games again tomorrow out of town. So, um We'll keep Malachi with us again like we did last weekend and then go to the go to the game. His games are in Gunnersville this week, and I've never been there before, but they have the needle workshop, so um, I'm excited to go. Um, what else? I did do um, some piecing yesterday on the quilt, so I got a few more blocks done, another set of blocks done on the straightened arrow. And then um, I've got the, the last set of blocks laid out, ready to sew together the pieces. Um, this one happened to come up in my memory feed today. So it's been five years ago today that I started the string quilt. So I'm glad that I'm making progress on it. It's it's so pretty. I love, I love piecing it. Um, I think that's all for life update. I think like maybe there was one more thing, but I don't remember. Um, so let me show y'all one thing that I saw on Instagram that just blew my mind. This. That motif right there. So this is one of the um, Rosewood Manor. Um, I think they have like seasonal. So that might be one of their seasonal ones. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's gorgeous. And it's using Valdani threads. I've never used those before, but y'all may want to try that one day. So I did get my sew sampler box in yesterday and my husband walked in, in with it and I was like squealing like I used to do whenever it would arrive. So um, I, I opened it already, but I figured I would open it again and show y'all what's all in it. So um, the theme was Town Square. Usually this, um, this little thing will have coupons on the back but because this is the anniversary box, they give you a whole like little booklet of coupons. So you get a little uh, leaflet that tells you everything that's in the box and um, the the estimated you know retail value of it. So um, we got a pattern. And the little um, three-inch square on a square foundation paper. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And then these, uh, this pack of fabric, Sunday Stroll from Bonnie and Camille, a fat quarter bundle. So, um, so it gives you instructions for doing either a, um, a lap quilt or three table runners. 
And then these are the additional things you need to do each one. So you usually always need background with theirs. They usually just give you the prints. Um, occasionally, I think maybe we've gotten backgrounds. But um, these are so pretty. Berries. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I just want more of that right there. This one too. And then these dogwood blossoms. Gorgeous. Um, we also got these little um, labels. So it says personalize your quilts with a quilt label. Just sew it into the binding with a one quarter inch seam allowance. And it contains 12 assorted ones. So. Oh gosh, this is cute. Well. So cute. So what's on the, oh look, on the back of that one is um, a little pin cushion. And on the back of this one is a sewing machine. These are so cute. Um, I think maybe that's the, one more, one more, no, two more. A spool and a needle. No, I think that's it. That's it. So those are super, super cute. I love those. Um, we did get a bag, which I love. Another small little project bag. And then they did start their, they started the new um, yearly um, quilts along, which is the bright side. And then this is the coupon book. For their fifth anniversary so you get um, four, four coupons and they expire at the end of June so I went online this morning to um, get the link for my description box and it is on a wait list again so yeah that's a so sampler box so um, And that's all I got in as far as haul goes. What I stitched on yesterday. So um, for Thankful Thursday, I stitched on Hey Pumpkin, which was in the uh, Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Quarterly last year. And it's stitched on uh, Lori Holt's 10 count vintage cloth in the color burlap with four strands of DMC floss. And this is what I got done so far. So last night I worked on these um, darker orange sections and then this green. And I've just been outlining these lighter oranges and then I'll fill them in. Like I could bring this to the game tomorrow and um, fill the, those orange spots in. Just mindless stitching so you don't have to count or anything. And then I got some more done on my little um, bluebird house. So I got the windows filled in. I got all of this side of the house done and then started filling in the windows over here. I love it. It's so cute. Now I'm anxious to get over to the bird, to the birds. I really want to see those blues because, I mean, look at these. Look at those blues. I mean, that's bluebird all the way right there. I got a little bit more done on Shine On. So I finished this row and then did the whole red row right here. I wanted to, I wanted to be able to finish this, but I just couldn't do it. 
couldn't make it. And then I did get my gold medal on this one, which was the left side of the um, house, the flower and leaves. And then I decided I'm just going to show y'all Elizabeth Weston every time I film because I can't remember. If I don't show it every time, I can't remember when was the last time I showed it. I have to go back and watch videos and, you know, watch snippets, and I don't want to have to do that. So I'll just show it even though there's not very much progress each time. So um, last night I did these um, these white flowers. I think it was those three. I think I already had this one done. And then tonight I will fill in these. These are also white like that, a different color, white. But I'll fill in those. Um, I don't have my calendar to see what else. But I know I had the white stuff, you know, going on for several days, so... So that's what I got done stitching wise and got in the mail for haul and I think it seems like I'm forgetting something but maybe that was something I wanted to mention yesterday and forgot but I gotta write stuff down I guess to be able to remember it but anyway today is Friday and the weekends here so um, Basketball games tomorrow. I probably won't film tomorrow. It'll probably be Sunday when I come on and film the um, the wrap up for the week. All right, y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I'll see y'all day after tomorrow. Bye. Morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, April the twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. I'm here to do my weekly end of the week video <laughs> vlog entry. I'm so tired. Well, yesterday was a really, really long day. Um, Nathan ended up playing in four games. Um, he was, like, they had, like, three. I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Like, they had an A, B, C, D categories and then like each category or each letter had three teams so I don't remember the game first thing in the morning I think they lost I want to say they won the second game um but anyway they were ended up third in that that um group that they were in and so the third place um teams from the groups played each other for like the silver, the silver division, the sil silver, I don't know what you call it, silver something. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'll tell you I'm tired. Um, they, before their third game, when we got to the venue, they had to play at a different place for the third game. When we got to that venue, the... Um, the senior guys, the high school travel ball team from our county played a game and we got to see part of that game. And so I think seeing them play really like <clears throat> it fired up our team. And so um, we won the third game. And so we advanced to the championship which was sorted at like 7.15 last night. And so they did win. They won like 66 to 3, which is just crazy because um, they really have struggled as a team this year. I mean, they've, they've played okay, and they've played better some weeks than others. Um, I mean, I think it's all, you know, the experience is good for them no matter the outcome of the games, but it's always nice to win, right? So anyway, we spent all day yesterday um, in Gunnersville, Alabama. That was the first time I had been to Gunnersville, and I was really looking forward to going and visit um, their LNS, which is Stitcher's Haven. 
And so, I mean, and I had plenty of time between games, you know, like his first one was like at nine something and then then 11. And then that third game was like at three. So we had plenty of time in between. So I'll go to their website and they were closed. I guess they're on vacation. So they were closed like from yesterday through the first. So it was like, dang it. So anyway, we just sort of rode around checking out the, the places in Gunner, Gunnersville. It's a really nice little town. We went and had lunch. Um, and then, you know, then we went and had supper before the final game. So um, it was a good day, but I'm exhausted. Um, came home, read, of course, and stayed up till around 11 reading, which was not too late for me. But then I woke up at like 2 o'clock from a bad dream and couldn't go back to sleep. And so I read again until like, I don't know, 4.30 or 5 and then went to sleep till around 8. And so when I woke up, I just wasn't ready to get up. And so I just kind of laid in bed and I'm just dragging today. But, um... So I think for the rest of the day today... I don't think I'm even going to cross stitch at all. I need to work on some plans for next month. Um, I want to try to get that done today. I did um, print out the next magazine monthly challenge sheet. So I need to fill in these with magazine challenge, I mean magazine patterns that I've, hopefully ones that I've already started. I usually will start one new one on that one but I may not I may have enough to use existing whips in those uh, categories um, so I need to plan that I was watching um, Candy, Candy the um, 614 stitcher and her most recent video she was talking about mania and she's going to do a um, she hasn't come up with a hashtag yet but she's going to do a mental health mania uh, just to bring awareness to mental health. And so I thought that was a really good idea. I really wasn't planning on doing anything for Mania. Um, but I think that's a really good idea. So I think I'm going to join her on that. I looked around at some patterns this morning. And um, I'll make a decision over the next week which one I want to stitch. But there's also the um, the BBD monthly sale that's coming up the first weekend in May. And so I did decide just a few minutes ago, right before I was starting this video, I am going to do um, the stockings that are from the Home for the Holidays book. Sorry if I show the chart. I didn't mean to. But anyway, I'll start this one. Um, I think it's 32 count. And then I think I have, uh, I don't have exactly what they called for. I may have brick. But I have enough reds where I can, you know, I know I can do that easily. So, so yeah, so I made my decision on that. So, um, and then, of course, I just need to plan my whole, you know, month of May in general. And, like, what I want to, you know, accomplish on my sales and things like that. So when we were in Gunnersville yesterday, we did go by the Walmart, and they have a really nice craft section there, um, really nice. So um, I was able to pick up a few little things, like our Walmart, I don't think we have these buttons, which I usually see at Joann's, but I saw um, these and I picked that up. I figured when I'm finishing some of my... Um, like, I have my craft room piece that I'm working on. And there's a couple of other, like, stitching-related pieces that I want to do. So I figured that would be good for finishing. And then I did pick up some um, Waverly chalk paint. I uh, haven't used chalk paint before, and so I figured some of my pieces that I need to finish, you know, if I just buy boards or frames and want to repaint them, I thought that was a pretty... Um, a pretty light pink ballet slipper. And then something else at our Walmart. I don't think our Walmart has this. Of course, I haven't been. I did go in our Walmart, you know, a few weeks ago um, and looked around in the craft section and I didn't see any, any of this stuff like what I'm showing. I mean, I'm sure they have the paint, but 
our our craft section seems to be shrinking. So, but they did have some little um some little rickrack packages, three yard packages, and I, I don't have really any rickrack in my stash, so I picked up four colors to add to my finishing stash. And then, um, I think I've already said this week, my older daughter's sister-in-law is expecting a baby, and they announced um, this past week that they're having a girl. I think I've already talked about this, but I don't remember. But anyway, that quilt right there, that will end up being for their baby. But my daughter was looking around at baby clothes and stuff, and she had found this cute little onesie that, oh my goodness, it was adorable. And then she saw this little bow, too, little head headband. And so we were walking past the section. I was like, can I start shopping for the baby, too? <laughs> Look at these. How cute. Oh my goodness. Little girls are so fun to shop for. The boys are just so excited that they're, you know, their aunt's having a, a little girl. They're just excited to no end, so I think that's neat. Um, Malachi and I did play. You know, they stayed all day Friday, and then he spent the night. And Friday afternoon, we were playing stuff on the Wii. And we started playing some, some um, I have a Wii, a Wii EA Active Sports game. I hadn't played it in forever, but it has like, you know, tennis and um, volleyball and basketball, baseball, and it's just like a competition where you compete against each other, either pitching or hitting or serving. Um, there's a little dance section, but anyway, when I play the Wii, I go all out, and so my arms are so sore, like my elbows they're just aching like crazy, my arms. And I was like, you, I told him yesterday when we were at the game, I was like, you killed my arms. And he's like, that's good, man. He's like, you, you work out and you do that. He's like, and your arms hurting. He's like, that means they're going to get buff. <laughs> so, but I could hardly move them, you know, and they still, they still hurt. So, so when we got home last night, we did, I did have my package from one, two, three stitch. So I have that to show you guys. So I picked up the um, the Prairie Schooler Prairie Birds pattern that I saw um, Elizabeth Ann can stitch do some of these. And this is my first Prairie Schooler. And I think it's so cute. I, don't, I, I will definitely change the colors. I'm not crazy about the colors, but I think they're adorable. So I picked up that. And then this is the little Stitcher's wallet that I was telling you guys about from the Nubby Needle. And I actually think this is a possibility for my um, mental health awareness month mania. Because I think that I would like to highlight like some of the mental health benefits of, you know, crafting and working with our hands and whatever. But anyway, it says, my needle and floss, they comfort me, for I am a stitcher. Isn't it beautiful? So this is the inside of it. And so this is the model of Stitch on 40 count. So I did get a piece of 40 count. I didn't get the called for. I'll probably, um, I'll probably tea dye this sort of give it or maybe like tan red dye it. But I got some 40 count cream Newcastle to stitch that on. And then I also picked up some 36 count uh, Ember linen to uh, try my hand at dyeing, dyeing some pieces of this. So. Not try my hand, but dye some pieces for, for patterns that I want to stitch. So what did I actually stitch on? So Friday I finished my little May calendar piece. And so I'm ready to FFO this uh, piece this week. And... It's cute. I like the way it came out. I think these may be maybe a little large for the 
bodies, but whatever. So I have that to FFO this week. And the wheel had chosen um, for my Friday theme, which is um, flora, fauna, and filigree. It chose the Alsatian red work heart. Well, that was my focus piece this month already for a whole week. And so I decided to stitch on what I wanted to stitch on. And what was calling me was the Linen and Threads 2020 Mystery. And so this is a really big piece. It's on 14 count. But anyway, I stitched on the, I already had this started. So I finished this motif here and then I went over with the piece of thread that I had left and started on that one. And this this is actually my weekly focus piece for this coming week, so we'll get to see some progress on that. And then um, yesterday I just took one project with me and I just stitched on Shine On all day. So and we'll drive there on the drive, not the drive home, but the drive there and then when we would, you know, go from place to place in the car, um, when we were watching games that were not Nathan playing in them, um, I just picked this up and stitched on it. So I finished this this block right here, which is my favorite so far, even though it was really stitch heavy. I love it. I just think it's so pretty. And then I finished this part. So that was that one week. And then this starts the week, um, the week that ends in a few days, like I think it's the 27th. Um, that the 27th that this section right here that I'm working on is supposed to be done. And I want to show you, um, I forgot, let's see. So this is the, um, linen and threads pattern in total. So I'm actually on um, release number seven, which is right here. So I've got a good bit left to do. Now let me go back and find um, shine on schedule. Yeah, so the 28th, this um, section right here is supposed to be finished the 28th. So I have three days, so I'm still going to be behind, but it's okay. Um, I don't think I'll get that caught up in three days because I'm really, I'm really wanting to move on to Jesse Watson and get that finished up for the end of the month. So I may stitch on this maybe Monday and Tuesday, or I might put it aside, pick up Jesse Watson, and then go back to this before the end of the month. So that is what I stitched on. That's my week this week. Um, talked about my plans and that's all I've got for you guys. I am just going to sit down and chill. I think I'm just going to maybe work on my, uh, do my planning and then work on Lakin's quilt the whole rest of the day. Um, it's like 1230 right now here and um, it's really pretty outside. I may take her quilt outside and go sit on the swing and quilt outside. I don't know. But anyway, I just need something that's just mindless and I don't have to do a pattern or count or change colors. Or I mean, I change colors, but, um, you know, it's, it's not a pattern to follow. So uh, that's it. So I think I will say goodbye and um, tell you I love you guys and I will see y'all um, next week. Thanks.